Hi everyone, it's the English Simmer here and welcome back to another video. Today's one is going to be super quick and it's going to be a tutorial. So Discover University is out now, it's out for everyone, it has been for a few weeks but I've still seen people get confused by how you actually send two sims from the same household or two sims from different households to the same university or in the same dorms or anything like that. So I'm gonna walk you through it. This is how I did it in my Let's Play. So you've got your two sims that you wanna send to university. This is much easier if you do this with two sims who are in the same household. So even if you wanna do it with a sim, like a boyfriend or a girlfriend, a significant other, and you want them both to go to the same uni, maybe move them into the same household just cause it makes it a little bit easier but you can do it without them living in the same household the exact same way. That is the first and most important step in this tutorial. Have them both apply to university on the same day. If you do it at different times, then their letters are gonna come in at different times and you're either gonna have to send one, wait a few days and then send the other or get the application for the first one, wait a few days until the second one gets their application back and then send them. So basically, Basically, it's just easier to send them both at the same time. There are actually two ways of doing this. One of them is with cheats and the second one is just to do it how you would do it in game. So I'm gonna show you the one with a cheat first. This is what makes it easier if the two sims are living in separate houses because you can just do this through debug. So what you want to do to do this is hit control shift C to bring up the cheats bar as usual and then you're going to put testing cheats on as usual. So testing cheats are now enabled. Hit control shift C to get rid of that again. And then when you actually shift click on the sim, there's actually a university debug menu. So you can hit this and you can click enroll in university and that will automatically have you enrolled. It will bring up the enrollment system and you can go through the enrollment. And I'm gonna obviously show you guys how to do that, but I'm gonna do it the real way. But if we click enrollment, the enrollment guide comes up. This is all legit. I have done it with like three sims in my current university let's play. I had my two main ones actually apply to university, like going through the gameplay, but their significant others and their friends that I also wanted to send to the same university, I just did it this way and it worked perfectly. They were enrolled, they can attend classes. It was absolutely fine to do. So if you wanna cheat, if you don't wanna wait for your application, because they do take anywhere between two to four sims days, then you can do it this way, but I'm gonna close that because I wanna show you guys how to do it legitimately. So we're gonna have Elle come on over here and we're gonna have her apply to university. So we're doing this on Sunday at 8 a.m. So the likelihood is our application will come back to us on Tuesday, so we will have to wait a few days. So let's also apply, oh, okay. Elle, I'm gonna have to get you to move your butt, okay? Go stand over here. And Charlie, you are also going to apply. I would also suggest if you want scholarships, apply to scholarships as well at this point in time. But due to this tutorial, I'm just gonna apply to university. So I've had both of my Sims apply at the same time. And then what I'm gonna do right now for the sake of you guys and this being a quick tutorial, I'm gonna skip through until we actually get our applications in the post. As you can see, the postman has just arrived. So we're gonna come over here with Charlie and we're gonna have a look to see if our applications have come in. Hopefully they should have, fingers crossed, they will have come in. There we go, all right. Um, so here we have acceptance letter, acceptance letter, and why do we have two acceptance letters for L? 
that's a bit scary. But um, Charlie, we are gonna read his. There we go. He's been accepted into pretty much everything. And then if we go to Elle's, if we read hers, she's currently celebrating for Charlie. Oh look, they're even wearing matching pajamas. And she didn't get accepted into any distinguished, but she obviously did get accepted into the degrees. She's, she looks a little bit unhappy about that. Oh, undistinguished, not being accepted into any distinguished degrees is a bit of a bummer. Well, guess what? You're still going to uni together. So I'm actually gonna move L in first. So again, you just do this by enrolling in university. So if we go over here to the computer, you can also do this all on your post box as well. You can enroll into university through your post box if you don't own a PC in The Sims. But usually I find if you do it on the PC, the applications take a little bit quicker through post, you know, snail mail. So we are just gonna, for this one, go to Foxbury Institute, why the heck not? We'll do art history. I know, not very Elle Woodsy. Um, we'll just do one class for now and we are going to live in, let's go for Briny Tower, okay? So hopefully this isn't the one with the other dude in it. It doesn't really matter if he is in it. I mean, I'm not gonna play with this save file. This is basically for the tutorial. So remember where you put your sim. So I've put her into Briny Tower and we have a lot of fun. So I'm just gonna say pay with household funds. Oh, it is with him. So as you can see, you would kind of expect Charlie because he has been accepted into Foxbury to just be able to transfer him but unfortunately, that's not the case. So we're just gonna transfer 53,000 because honestly, Charlie ain't gonna need it. My OBS always crashes uh, on loading screens, but it basically just loaded me in to Tidal Tower. And as you can see, L is here. Usually if you didn't pick one with a pre-existing sim, it would just be L in our active household. So we are gonna go to manage worlds. We're gonna save it. We're gonna save the changes that we just made and go to manage worlds. So then you're gonna go back to where your other sim currently is. So these guys were living in Bargain Bend over in Willow Creek. And then we're gonna get Charlie to enroll. Oh it actually came up as re-enroll. That's weird, this is a new game. How does it remember that he was in university in an old save file? Please let him enroll in Foxbury. I'm fairly sure they can change, right? Oh no, his is saying, if you pick a new degree, some of your, Man, it's saying he's in Brightchester. I wanna send him to Foxbury. Okay, so we're gonna go for Foxbury. Obviously, it's for some reason taken his information from an old save file. I don't know why it's done that because this is a new save file. So that won't happen in your game if you're playing a brand new game. You won't have any of that issue. So you would just get this page, choose Foxbury Institute, and we are gonna go into computer science. Again, we're just gonna do one class. And remember, we moved L into Briny Tower, so we are also gonna move him into Briny Tower as well. And then as you can see in the split from household screen, L is also there. So we are gonna confirm this and there you go. These two Sims will be living together. And that's it done. So as you can see, Charlie is living here. L is also living here and they are both in the same university halls. You can also choose to do this and have multiple sims living in different areas of university, but obviously you can only actively play one at a time. So whilst you're actively playing as someone, the other one actually won't do anything, but you will see them around the university campus. So they don't have to live in the same dorms. You could be living in these dorms, your friend could be living over in these 
these dorms and you can go visit them at any time. But this is really handy if you have like siblings or best friends or significant others who you want to have in the same university housing. This is how you go about it. So there you have it. That's how you send two sims to university in Discover University. I do find it a bit weird. I honestly don't understand why you can't have them both apply and then just move them both in through one enrollment process. I think it's because you have to like go through the degree selection and stuff, but it just is such a roundabout way of doing it. I honestly don't know if this will ever be updated. I don't know if the team will make it any easier. I mean, it was the same for a really long time with managed households. They have now added that in onto the phone so you don't have to go to like the world menu and go through all of that rigmarole, but that took five years. So this isn't probably ever gonna be updated. This is probably the way we're gonna have to do it. If it is updated in the future, then I will retract this statement and probably make a new video, but I hope this was helpful for you all. If there are any other questions you have about Discover University, about enrollment, or about how to enroll two sims into university, then please do not hesitate to ask me down below in the comments. And if there are any other sims tutorials that you would like to see, then please do let me know because I have been playing this game since its release. I like to class myself as being pretty darn good at The Sims 4, but if there's anything that you guys struggle with personally, if there's anything that you would like hints or tips on, please do not hesitate to let me know. Give this video a big thumbs up if it was helpful, and I will speak to you all in my next video. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.